The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Titration curves of polyprotic acids. There's three polyprotic acids that you should be familiar with. You should be familiar with phosphoric acid, right, which we'll take a look at next. You should be familiar here, as we see, carbonic acid. You should also be familiar with sulfuric acid. Now, these two are for dipro, they're, they're diprotic, right? They're diprotic acids. And what we mean by diprotic is they have, this carbonic acid has two dissociable protons, uh, and so does our sulfuric acid, right? But the graphs here, if you actually look, they're a little bit different. That's because the two protons that come from carbonic acid, they're actually weak protons. And one, the first proton here for sulfuric acid is actually going to be a strong proton. That's why there's a discrepancy between the two graphs, firstly. Now, secondly, what we, get, what we want to point out is that our graph is going to, now let's talk a little bit about the graphs, actually. Here, we're going to have one buffer region right this is considered to be another buffer region right and this is going to be called an this is going to be one equivalence point and this is our second equivalence point and now let's talk about what is actually transpiring at each point along the graph here we're initially going to have carbonic acid right then at the uh, when ph equals pka1 we're actually going to have equal concentrations of our carbonic acid right and our bicarbonate so these two are going to we're going to have equal concentrations at, right and the ph at that point is going to be 6.37 now anything if there are any ph less than the 6.37 we're going to have more carbonic acid than we're going to have concentration of than our bicarbonate any cons any uh, ph above 6.37 in this region, we're going to have more, you guessed it, bicarbonate. Okay, great. Now, when you're at your first equivalence point right here, right, you're going to have no more carbonic acid. So you're going to have no more of this at all, and it's going to be 100% bicarbonate. 